are out on the ground bringing you the first-hand look at the damage. Our Fox Carolina's Myra Wee, she's live now on the west end of Greenville. We want to get to Myra this morning. I know that you've been seeing a lot of cleanup. Yes, we have, and we're seeing a lot of stuff that hasn't been cleaned up as well. We're right along the Swamp Rapid Trail and alongside the trail because right now the area we're on is not passable. Uh, we have a group that was walking along the trail. They were trying to get through. These are some parents of uh, Christ Church students. Elaine Browning is here with Mia and some other puppies as well. You know, tell us what you're seeing so far this morning. We've just seen devastation, and it's amazing that nature has such a power, you know, to uproot trees and let them lie over the road. And it's incredible you know and there could be more to come so what do you think about that well I can just say stay at home and be safe yeah. you know and and make sure that your loved ones are surrounded with yeah. you and and that you really protect yourself and and make sure that nature doesn't destroy your life then yeah a lot to learn from what happened thank you and good luck on your walk hopefully it doesn't get interrupted elsewhere <laughs> thank you so much sure. bye thank but uh you. Yeah, bye well take a look at over this this part of the trail if you keep on walking you'll see how you cannot get past over there because the tree is blocking it along that part of the trail as well now again we are in the 400 block of westfield drive and people are just discovering it this morning but there are crews that have been cleaning the other side of the uh, Westfield Westfield where the uh, trail is clear but we have some video from this morning on the other side of downtown Greenville where crews were working to clear away a huge limb that had fallen on some scaffolding in the 200 block of Main Street now they work to clear that out of the way put some of the smaller pieces of tree debris in a big pile that part of downtown Greenville is now open to traffic but parts of the sidewalk on that side of Main Street are closed. Now, uh, we, we are uh, still seeing people hard at work and also people just trying to get their regular routines in, walking their dogs, jogging as well, but the power is still out on the west side of Green downtown Greenville. Uh, Stone Academy did take a power hit, but we're told they're operating on generators at this point. And uh, County Square did open later, scheduled to open at 10. There's a delay there as well because of the power outage. Did check in with the uh, 13th Circuit solicitor who tells us that court, though, is expected to proceed as normal. Reporting live in Greenville, my Ruiz, Fox Carolina News. And this video sent to us from a viewer showing damage at Boulder Creek Apartments, which is located over on Furman Hall Road. You can see a lot of debris everywhere in that area. Power outages still a big problem this morning. At this hour, more than 7,000 homes and businesses are in the dark right now, mainly in the west end of Greenville. And at last check, Dew says power isn't expected to be restored until noon today and in some places even later than that. It is time to get a check of the roadways right now. We're going to send things over.